Welcome back to Isco Elysium, the Battle of Officer Superstar. When we left off, we had learned that uh, Miss Orany Disco Dancer was the rape victim that caused the Hardy Boys to hang the murder victim. So we are now going to interview her, hopefully the anyway. The door is closed. Let's knock. Who is it? Tired, controlled. This is the police. Can we come in? Come on up. The door is open. I'm drying my hair. Sounds like it's coming from upstairs somewhere. You could snoop around before going up. Okay, we probably will. Okay, let's go in. Okay, we've got a couple orbs. Let's check them out. Hotel bill calculations. Looks like she's had an extended stay. Piles of dirty clothes. A woman's. Well, that's not surprising. Let's go in here. Mm hmm. You see the yard below. The corpse is no longer there. That also is not surprising. This medicine cabinet is full of wares. Sheets of pills haphazardly stacked one on top of the other. There's also a toothbrush somewhere in there. Okay, well, I think we care more about the meds, so let's take a look. Pharmaceuticals line the shelves, sheet upon sheet of pill bottle next to pill bottle. Acetylic acid, APAP, eye drops, blood thinners. Wow, there's quite the collection in here. Anything of not? Let's search the bottles. Pill bottles rattle like bones as you search the cabinet. Paracetamol, histoperidol, something in a foreign language you can't read. Behind them, an unusually shaped nasal spray. Its label reads, Nacra. Nacra, this is used to treat opioid overdoses. Always handy to have around. Why would we keep it to ourselves? No, we're going to whisper to Kim. He probably already knows this. Nacra, opioid antagonist. Interesting. That's used for diamorphine overdoses. The lieutenant nods, then looks at the door. Okay, let's search the pill sheets. Among some foreign, probably Mycenaean or Godvaldian, marked red blister packs you find. What do you find? This is going to take a little know-how. Well, we have know-how. Oh, we get plus one for our magnetic dice set. All right, 83%. Let's do it. A bright orange bottle with preptide stamped on it in sunny, happy letters. Jackpot, baby. That's the stuff you're looking for. Your palms begin to sweat just holding that little plastic container. Very nice. So we have an, inter an interfacing check. It's only medium. It, it takes 10, but we only have three interfacing. And we have the need for speed, but we also have sweaty hands for reasons I, I don't know. What's so exciting about this orange bottle? It's speed, man. Just what you were looking for. They call it dextroamphetamine and talk about psychological disorders. But what we're seeing here is some scientifically advanced trucker speed. Ah, okay. I had a friend who once told me that as a class of people, truckers use more drugs than anybody she had ever met. Lieutenant, I also see a brand called Preptide. Preptide, a euphemism for pharmaceutical amphetamine. Prescription speed. Ooh, how exciting. The fuck are you waiting for? Let's <laughs> get super fucking preppy. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put on our interfacing gloves. Yes, it's a little bit cheaty, but, you know, it is a video game. Yes, plus two interfacing. And let's try again. This medicine cabinet is stocked with drugs, plus an old toothbrush, and... Let's search for the preptide again. There it is. The orange sun wearing blister pack. Oh, we no! almost nostalgic for it. Well, I'm glad I put on those gloves, because we lost two for telling Kim about it. Well, shit. We're going to do it. 58%. You dropped it, smack and we dab suck. in the middle of the floor. There it is, orange as the midsummer evening sun, or the lieutenant's bomber jacket. What's happening with our hand here? I think we're getting a little too cozy with Kim. Wow, that's unbelievably orange. Anyone can see that. It's practically effervescent. All right, let's just pick it up. Kim knows we're a druggie. The lieutenant tries to keep his eyes on the door. But the Preptide bottle sounds like a rattlesnake. <laughs> it's basically a percussion instrument that you're stuffing into your pocket. We could shake it like a maraca. Who cares, man? Who cares what the stiff thinks? You got it. Here comes the afterburner. Just put it in your sweaty little hand now. 
Okay, let's look at the toothbrush, although I don't know why we would care. It's been used quite a lot. Well, that's good. Dental hy hygiene is important. This toothbrush belongs to someone who doesn't give a damn about her teeth. Ah, okay, I see. Let's close the cabinet. Okay, let's put our other gloves back on now. These were the gloves we were wearing because we like the half light. And then we'll just see, is this it? Speed bottle. We have 11, yeah, okay, so we, oh no, preptide. Speed and speed, oh, okay. Wow, we have so much speed right now. We should just be speeding all the time. Okay, let's go, that's everything. Let's go upstairs. Okay, Orny. Oh. The bed has been hastily made. Uh, okay. I, like, is that important? This window is pristine on the inside, unlike the one next to it. Light from the desk lamp reflects off the glass in an untarnished golden halo. Okay, let's run our finger across the surface of the glass. Smooth as ice. There are spots of mud and rain on the outside even smudges but the surface of the window is clear from the inside no chips no hairline fractures okay I, I have to assume this is leading somewhere following your lead the lieutenant leans in closer to inspect the surface oh see i had no idea this was coming because i'm not a very good detective in real life this window was recently replaced looks like it yes and let's leave okay uh what's this about it's holding the door open Oh, that was just exiting. Okay. Oh, we have a thought. The smell of cigarette smoke in the air. Astra, menthol. Ooh, we can identify it. There's a door here. There's an orb here. There's another orb here. Let's just snoop around. The same small, heavy door. No lock in sight. Okay, we'll come back to that door. <laughs> That's just weird. Okay, there's some bugs here. Look, a handful of dried white wildflowers. Oh, could this be the... No. Just as you look at the flowers, a gust of wind raises them from the roof, picking them up in the air. But this seems like a one-shot deal. We're going to try it. 42%. We have a terrible record with it, but let's go. The wind brushes And we failed. The oh. They're gone. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's look at this orb and then talk to Orany. Cold coffee in an ashtray that looks like a hedgehog. <laughs> okay. Hello, lady. Welcome to the roof. The young woman has a cigarette in one hand and a cup of coffee in the other. Oh, we just finished a task. Her hair is still slick from the shower. You've been standing up here. Every time we go talk to Kuno, you were up here. Below her silvery jumpsuit, an athletic young body, built long and lean. I'm sorry for the mess down there. The cleaning lady hasn't come by in days. I'm beginning to wonder if she ever will. Nice view you've got here. It's much nicer now. Her eyes wander north toward the yard, obviously. Where the dead body used to hang, clearly visible from the roof, but no longer. Oh, I wonder if she watched them hang the guy. Thank you for that, officers. Truly. There is something in her light brown eyes, a sadness, when she thinks about the death of that man. This is interesting. If he, if he did rape her, which we have no reason to doubt, it seems weird that she responds with sadness. Although watching somebody be murdered is, I can't imagine it's good, even if that person raped you. I don't, I don't know. Okay. You mentioned a cleaning lady. I think I need one. Oh yes. Legends of room number one have made their way around the building. They say a portal to hell has opened in there. Yeah. It's Disco Infernum. They also say that's why the cleaning lady quit because of the Infernum. Oh, I could believe that. I'm Kim Kitsuragi. I'm a detective from Prison 57. I believe you have already met my colleague from Prison 41. She has. Have I ever. This is the one and only superstar cop. He's kind of a big deal around here. Clearly, she knows us because we are superstar. The whole series is called The Ballad of Officer Superstar. Look, I could say I'm a huge deal around here, or I could tell her we shifted copper types, which we have not. But instead, we are going to say Martinez is very lucky. Only one in a thousand cops wakes up as a superstar cop. Wow. What brings the Phoenix back to me? We are investigating the murder. The Phoenix is one of the many nicknames of Guillaume Le Million, Rivershaw's second greatest male disco artist. This is an honor. Oh, wait, who was the first? Do we know the first? We know Guillaume Le Million was a big time deal. 
Miss, we are investigating the murder of the man down there. The people who put him there have asked us to talk to you. Huh. I see. She takes a pensive drag of her menthol cigarette. Be careful. Ask something else first. When you go there, use words like, I hear you have been through something difficult. What's your name, miss, for the record? Clausier Amondou. Clausier. I gotta try to remember how to pronounce that. Same name that Titus gave you. It sounds Oranese, as does her accent. Well, we, we know that. It's Miss Orane Disco Dancer. Her birthmarks also signal Oranye. You don't know why, but Oranese girls tend to come speckled with them. Are you from Orane? Right, sir. Vredefort, Republic of Oranye. I guess you could say I am an Oranese expatriate. What is Orne? A bad memory, officer. Oh, that's unfortunate. The Republic of Orane is a democratic nation on the Muindi Isola, north of here, over the sea and across the Pale. It is one of the six major Occidental nations to hold stake in the continued occupation of Revachol, the coalition. People consider it a reasonable superpower. Reasonable? They will make you into a fiscal colony. Divert your natural resources, hold patents and shares, but they won't threaten to wipe you out any time, like Revachol did in its prime. Wow, that seems like the lesser of two evils. A bad memory of what, Classy? Of lilacs and lightning, parks, glass, duraluminium. Fredefort is a conference city. It's always autumn there, and night. At least it was for me. Oh, that's so strange. What's so bad about that? Nothing, if you're no longer there. I mean, she's had a pretty shitty experience here. The conference centers are filled with people who get angry at you if you do something wrong. We're a detective, we're gonna ask questions. Did you do something wrong? Sooner or later, everyone does. Ah, that is fair. How old are you? I'm 28. What do you do, miss? What is your specialization? Something stupid. What's that? That's kind of an odd response. Orani's lit. Orani's lit. Orani's literature. It's what I studied at the university. She raises both eyebrows. What is Orani's literature about? Fear of failure, fear of death, how it sucks to be Orani's. <laughs> All national literatures are... Only the name of the nation changes. <laughs> that, that actually might be true. What about Revisholian literature? People sometimes reveal things about themselves when they discuss such matters. Revisholian literature as well? No. Revisholian lit is about how magnificent and serious Revisholian is. It's about how you have to save the world. I do feel the urge to save the world, yes. I guess that's why I'm on this case. That's the natural state of the Revisholian hero. She breathes in the menthol-flavored fumes, savoring it, then breathes out. She seems quite relaxed for a victim of assault. But, of course, what seems should not be your priority. Yeah, I made the same observation before, and I suppose I agree with that. Orany's lit. What do you do with it? Nothing. I do nothing with it. How do you make money, then? Money is very important. We're going to show her some money. That's really weird. Cool. I've made more money by just being than I have with Orany's lit. Being what? Many things. A roller skating instructor, a secretary, Miss Oranye 37. <laughs> 37? She's 28. That was 14 years ago. She was Miss Oranye at 14? That's weird and creepy. It's the world's most tired smile. Yeah, I bet after 14 years of putting it on. Miss Oranye, now there is something you should linger on. Wouldn't it be um inappropriate to linger? All things considered, very. Now linger. Uh, no. Understood, and we'll conclude. Mm-hmm. I would offer you coffee, but it's garbage. Literally tastes like poison. Now, why would we want to look at her passport? Would we do that? That seems extremely intrusive, and it's not like we are suspicious of her in any way. No, we're not going to do it. Thank you. That's it for the record. The record? So official. Nice room you've got here. Yeah. It's pretty deluxe. What are you doing here in the Whirling in Rags? I'm wintering. Wintering? That sounds weird. I mean, usually people go to warm places for the winter. How long have you been staying here? 
about four months. I came in November. Why here? Here in the Whirling, here in Martinez, or here in Ravishol? Well, I'm going to ask all three, and maybe all four, here in the Whirling. Because it's the funkiest building in Martinez. And because all the other buildings are bombed to hell. Okay, oh, we... That's it. Okay. Can I... Hit I'm this wondering. again? How long have you been staying oh. here? Eh. About four months. I came in November. Okay, we're going to do this one more time, but I'm not going to make you suffer through all four of these. Here in the Whirling, here in Martinez, or here in Ravishol? I'm going to say here in Ravishol, although she, uh, here, sorry, here in Martinez, uh, even though she told us that she's wintering. I heard this is where the washed up disco has beens go. Oh, you're too young to call yourself a disco has been. I'm really not. You're 28 years old. You have quite the collection of prescription drugs down there. Thank you. I've put a lot of time and effort into it. <laughs> she says without any discernible irony. It was quite impressive. How did you amass such a hoard? With money, sir. It's not exactly the NT star size caboodle I intend for it to be one day, but it's getting there. The NT star is, or was, a Vespertine rock and roll star who liked to do drugs. He did so many drugs, he eventually mutated into a corpse. <laughs> I've heard that that does happen. The collection includes Nacra, an opioid antagonist. It comes in handy when you've done too many opioids. I would imagine it would. Is that something that happens to you often, miss? His tone isn't aggressive, just inquisitive. Better safe than sorry. You seem to have, among other things, Cryptide. Oh, yes. One of my favorites. It cures many ailments. Like what? Like not being able to stay up for 36 hours, not being happy. It cures those ailments. It's just a merit speed molecule, basically. We're not going to tell her we took it. That's ridiculous. All right, that's all as far as that goes then. Very funky. Where does that door lead to? I have no idea, officer. What? Really? Well, we're going to have to investigate that. The window is new. It is. She moves slightly to your left to check her reflection in it. The lieutenant makes a note in his notebook. She's not exactly being forthcoming. He finds the answer unsatisfying. So do I. I have other questions for you. Okay. Watching herself reflected in the bedroom window, tall and sparkling and draped in smoke. They tell us you've been through something difficult. Something difficult? I've been through at least half a dozen difficult things. Which one do you mean? Were you sexually assaulted, miss? By sexually assaulted, you mean raped? She takes a quick drag, unperturbed. Yes. It's a bit early in the morning for raped, isn't it? No, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. She sounds positively buoyant, vivacious, totally unbothered. I love this. I just said this. Actually, it's already afternoon. Is it? Squinting, she takes a look around. The spring sun is high in the sky. People pass below. It is afternoon. Time flies, man. So were you? Yeah. I'm gonna go with not raped. I don't want to say that shit about him. Oh. Okay. By him, she must mean the victim. Tell them it's not my style. They'll have to, you know, if they want to jazz up the charges, they'll have to get someone more, uh, rapeable. It's all very organic. Her mannerisms, her movements. If she's acting, she's quite gifted. This was a drama challenge and we succeeded, so we can trust it. By they, she means the Hardy Boys. Yeah, I see that. Are you saying that you were asked to tell us you were assaulted? Oh. Not explicitly, but I understood what they meant. It wouldn't hurt to spice things up a bit. Some assault and battery, sexual assault maybe. It was clear the latter would be spicier. Titus asked you to spice things up for us? Pretty much. Warming them. Oh, that this is in response to her wrapping her hands around her coffee cup, which I didn't read. Or I didn't read out loud. What did happen between you and the victim? We partied. What kind of partying? Pointing to our face, we say, the kind I do? With all due respect, sir, I think we partied a little harder than that. Oh. Harder than this? Keep pointing at our face. I didn't know it was physically possible. Oh, it is. You're still alive. Guess that's true, but so are you. What did you do when you parted? We drank, sir. A lot. For weeks, basically. 
We had that effect on each other. We made each other drink harder. That's why I liked him. What is? Stimulants. Speed also has that effect, making you drink harder. And then drinking harder makes you do more speed. It's quite the combination. We also had sex. You were lovers? I think I think Superstar would say that because he's he knows he was once in love with Dora, or he thinks Dora. I guess you can say that, yes, a bit. Lovers is such an emotional word. But there was something there. We did enough drugs for there to be. How did you two meet? The lieutenant's voice is quiet, calm. Downstairs, at the bar. He was on some sort of assignment, uh, a military man, as you probably know. Had a cool, scary scar. She appears aloof, but that scar part, the scary, is stressed and drawn out. What's that about? Apprehension? With longing. She misses him. See, this makes much more sense. She wasn't raped. And that's why she's so calm. When was this? A month ago? Something like that. Yeah, if she partied that hard, she's not going to remember the dates. It must have been hard for you seeing him hanging there. Oh, yes. I've had a great view. From the roof, out of the bathroom window. Oh, man. In my dreams. That's terrible. That is terrible. A bitter cringe. It hurts. You look to the lieutenant. He takes a small step closer. You called us, DRCN. Yes. Oh, mystery solved. I wonder if that was the task we finished. Jackpot. The call reporting the hanging? That was you? I made it. Oh, here and we go. I would appreciate it if you didn't tell everyone. In Martinez, they call it snitching. Yeah, okay, now we just finished it and we only got 10 experience. Reporting crimes is confidential in Revachol, miss. Before we go on, if it's snitching, then why do it? Because I couldn't handle it anymore. None of these people called. He just kept hanging there. Then they started stripping him. Uh, you can hear the disgust in the in the voice actor's voice. It's really quite quite amazing. Tearing off his armor, demeaning him, throwing rocks at him. Ah, all that's true. The caller's voice was disguised. I didn't exactly disguise it. I just muffled the mic and nicked the landline a little. Nicked it? How? With nail clippers. And I diverted some radio fuzz into it. Into the cold wire. Okay, that seems pretty high tech. Couldn't you just done something like with a... I guess I don't really know how to disguise my, my voice, so forget it. So, she's God's mystery foam cutter. Oh yeah, there we go. I forgot that the line was cut. And in the process, you broke the landline downstairs. Did I? Fuck. I didn't mean to. I had no idea what I was doing. Okay, we just leveled up again with five experience. Jigsaw falling into place. This is satisfying. Good catch. I appreciate the symmetry. Why go through all the trouble? We just healed our health. I didn't realize we were at one. I don't know, sir. It was stupid. I was drunk, too. I was probably afraid the union was listening in. Locals say they have ears in the wires. Yeah, I, I bet they do, actually. We're not entirely convinced about that answer, but okay, let it slide. Pushing won't help here. Okay, thanks, Drama. Thank you for making the call, Miss. It was the right thing to do. So it, it's not particularly surprising since we set out with, with Drama, but Drama really has directed a lot of this playthrough for us. I didn't want to, sir. But if I hadn't, he'd still be hanging there. What can you tell me about him? Name, eyes, age? I'm sorry, I can't do it. Not right now. Later, maybe. I keep seeing him. Like he is now. I can't talk about his... I don't know. Hair? She takes another puff, more nervous. I know it's difficult, miss. We can return to it later. We can return to these too. We don't want to tell her that there's a bullet. She may not have known that. And maybe we'll ask why they hanged him, but how do the Hardy Boys know you? They're frequent guests. Downstairs. They have a booth for union members. They're probably down there now. And how did you meet? Over drinks. It's been a long, boring winter. And did you party with them? A little, yeah. Titus thinks you're an item. Like you partied with the deceased? No, not as hard. I'm sorry to have to ask this, but have you had a physical relationship with any of the Hardy Boys? I have. Which one? Which ones, sir? 
I don't remember precisely. Titus, obviously. But as I said, it's been a long winter. Wow. Wow. That is some hard, hard partying. Could that have been part of the reason they hanged him? Could that be why they lynched him? Jealousy? I hope not. Actually, I know that's not the reason. I'm careful about that kind of thing. Not crossing the wires, you know? But that's probably where they got the rape idea. What do you mean? Men like that? I don't know. It's the way their imaginations work. I suspect it's what they'd like to do to me. Wow, that... Wow, that's really disturbing. Like to do to her? Jesus. She changes balance from one foot to another, crossing her legs. Okay, well, she brought it up, so we're gonna say... What did they hang him for, if not rape? He had something to do with the strike. One has been roiling since I got here. Rotten timing. But you probably know all about it. We sure do. And his role in this strike was... what? I think he was in a security detail. He was ex-military. Worked for Wild Pines. And against the Union. We didn't discuss work much, if you know what I mean. But I understood it was dangerous. Yeah, I mean, he was an all-around asshole, I'm sure. And they lynched him for it? She nods. I'm not telling her there's a bullet in his head. Thank you for telling us all of this, miss. She breathes a silvery sigh of relief and weariness. The air on the roof feels humid. Should we head by downstairs, officer? We may have things to discuss there. I had something else before we go, a little thing. I actually don't think we do, but let's find out. She nods. Silvery oh. cigarette fumes disappear Whoa. into her mouth. Okay, we, we have a volition check. Our volition is currently six. It's legendary. We have a 42% chance we're going to take some drugs right here in front of everybody. I believe we can do it. Where's that hitbox? There we go. Hey, come here. Boom. Let's just heal that. Okay. Yeah, we damaged our health. I know. Okay, that bumped us up to 58%. It's a white check, so we can always retry it if we want. Let's go. Soft. We did it. brown eyes look back at you, directly into the space behind your eye sockets. You see the smoke rise from between her painted red lips. She's beautiful. That is the message I have been getting since the get-go. I have bad news for you. What? You know these guys? Who? Me? Yes, you. He's talking about you. You boring stiff. Oh my god. All of our all of our internal voices are arguing with one another. You too. Me? What did I do? <laughs> These guys are compromised. She's got them singing along to her tune. The little bleeps and bloops you trust for info. You can't trust them anymore. Oh my god. Believe it. Does this mean she's been lying to me? Yes. Mr. Thespian here has been singing pians to how truthful she is. She is a lady most fair and just. <laughs> in his defense, to reduce him to such inadequacy, she probably had to employ half-truths more often than outright lies. That is correct. And omissions too. Well, can I trust that guy? A little. They're all still of limited use, interpreting things to the best of their ability. Maybe they add flair or something. I wouldn't know. I don't have flair. This is the best conversation we've had the whole game, I think. But when it comes to assessments of character and factual accuracy, they are not to be trusted. Not with her. Can I trust any of them ever again? Don't be melodramatic. You can trust them. Just not with Miss Orange Disco Dancer here. Okay, which ones exactly are affected? There's no way of knowing. At the moment, I'm afraid it's best to assume all of them. Bullshit, man. I ain't compromised. Especially that guy. That guy's the most compromised one in here. He's uh, He starts out compromised, electrochemistry. No fucking way, man. I just want a drag of that sweet menthol Ziggy. He's a drug source. He's compromised. Really? Quick. Tell me what's under her jumpsuit. Glory. Truth. Softness. Protect her. She wants you. <laughs> he just outed himself. I take it back. He's got it pretty bad. But this next guy's on another level entirely. She likes you. 
The crown head is a boring condom. He's jealous. This is human nature. How did this happen? How it always does. Through subtlety. Well, what can I do? There's nothing you can do about it. You are how you are, and she is how she is. Things will go as they do. Can't you turn them normal again? No. Well, what use is this then? It's better to know you're being played than to be played without knowing it, is it not? That's probably true, although it still feels shitty. What's her plan? You can't draw a sound conclusion. The one who usually does says she may want to control the information rollout, not to become a suspect. She may have a past she's escaping, unrelated to this case. You doubt it's something truly insidious. Well, we can't trust what you're saying, Logic. See? It's oddly moderate. Probably compromised. I do see volition. Wow. Okay, I've been talking to myself long enough. Let's get back to it. Don't worry. It's only been four or five seconds. You've got this. Uh, no, we're not going to ask her if she's manipulating us. We can come back. Okay, we're not going to say anything. We're just going to close our eyes and let the moment pass. For a second, her face disappears from your cornea. Only a silvery negative remains. Still smiling. A tired smile. Somehow we got five experience. All right, let's ask the personal question. Yes. You're just one room away. Very personal. Good. Yes. This means she could have heard something. Like what you were doing before you blacked out. Were you in Sunday night? I need to know what I did before I lost my memory. You do not need to know that. What you need is to ask normal police questions. Like... He waits for us to finish his sentence. Alright, let's return to this later, miss. And we'll leave. Why not? I'll be here until 11pm. Drinking coffee, most likely. Okay, so we need to come back before 2300 hours. Okay, Kim wants to talk to us. Looks like we have more to discuss with those so-called hardy boys. Half their reasoning just went out the window. Maybe. She is definitely manipulating us. You think this will make them cooperate? Nothing will make them respect the RCM. But it will disrupt the game they prepared for us. We just tripped off one layer of whatever it is. Her decision to not corroborate their story was definitely not part of the plan. Yeah, definitely. All right, we're going to say in a hushed voice to Kim, why did she tell us all of that? What else could she have done? Lie? She saw there was no way to lie and get away with it. I think Kim might also be compromised. You would have caught it. Drama, I can't trust you. Like hell you would have, remember? Kim, I have reason to doubt my ability to see through her lies. If not you, then me. It was a smart move from her. I'm going to whisper to him, I know she's manipulative. What do you mean by that? She has half my skill set compromised singing her tune. My assessments of her are untrustworthy. She seems forthcoming to me. Unusually so. Being forthcoming with some things is a good way to obscure other things. But I wouldn't call myself compromised. Perhaps that's because you are? I am not easily swayed by young women. But on the other hand, the best liars are candid. And she was candid. She sure was. The lieutenant seems oddly sure he is not compromised. Not psychologically, at least. Is it hubris? Maybe. Anyway, we should move. I suspect our investigation will bring us back soon enough. I suspect as much as well. And this is where I'm going to make the cut today. This has been a great conversation with Classy. And when we come back, we're going to see this door and then we're going to go talk to the Hardy Boys. But until then, thank you very much for your viewership and support. I love you very much. And please remember to spay and neuter your pets.